Hi everyone, we're back today with another video. We're talking about 5-alpha reductase deficiency today. And so if you remember uh, in our embryologic pathway, we have an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, which is responsible for converting testosterone to DHT. And DHT is a very much more potent form of testosterone. But today we're gonna talk about what happens if 5-alpha reductase is non-functional. And this is gonna be a pretty short video, pretty simple pathway. So let's just get right into it and see what would happen if we are missing 5-alpha reductase. So we have a person who is XY. We have our indifferent gonad, which is going to have a functional SRY gene. So we can produce TDF and we are going to produce a testis. The testis is going to have Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. Leydig cells produce testosterone. Testosterone is functional and its receptor is functional. So we're going to make a mesonephric duct. This is going to persist. We are going to have internal male genitalia. So you can see already we have testes and we have seminal vesicles, epididymes, ejaculatory ducts and ductus deferenses. And so our male internal phenotype is complete. But wait, if we have testosterone that is supposed to be converted to DHT by 5-alpha reductase, uh, but we don't have a functional 5-alpha reductase, this cannot happen. So we are not going to have DHT. And so we are not going to make external male genitalia. And something that I want to draw your attention to here is that the prostate is considered to be external male genitalia, and it is stimulated by DHT. So in people who don't have a functional 5-alpha reductase, they're going to have incomplete development of the prostate. Um, so looking back up here, we have Sertoli cells are going to produce MIF. MIF is going to be functional. And so we are going to inhibit the paramesonephric duct. We are not going to have internal female genitalia. And then we do have an SRY. So we're not going to go this way. We're not going to make ovaries. And if you remember in the last video, we did have an enzyme uh, called aromatase. So we are going to produce some levels of estradiol, but it's, it's going to be enough to kind of make external female genitalia. But in this process, we're going to have an interesting presentation because we're going to have some estradiol via the aromatase pathway. if we remember, converts testosterone to estradiol. So we are going to have some of this. And so we're going to kind of make external female genitalia, but it's going to be ambiguous. And so this clitoris might look like a small penis uh, and the labia might look like a small scrotum because testosterone, since we have functioning testosterone, and these receptors, testosterone is going to act on these organs and produce kind of a more masculine appearance. So yes, we technically have external female genitalia, but it's going to be very masculinized by testosterone. So it's going to be in between. And this is kind of the first case where we are having a presentation that is neither male nor female on um, external inspection because it's you're not going to be able to really put this person into a box right away. And uh, the important thing here, though, is that they're going to be ambiguous at birth and throughout most of their childhood. But then once they hit puberty, this surge in testosterone that they're going to get is going to further masculinize the external genitalia. And so the clitoris or the small penis is going to grow. Uh, the scrotum is going to grow. The testes are going to find a more natural position in the scrotum. And so you're going to see a rapid change 
in a person to presenting with a more common male phenotype. But up until that point, they are pretty ambiguous. And so let's kind of look at this. So we have our genotype is X, Y. Our internal genitalia is completely male. We have testes and we have the rest of this internal tract. So I'm going to put male and then external. We have ambiguous. So it is neither male nor female. And until puberty, they're going to appear more male. So again, this was a pretty quick one. Um, and the first one that we really had a very ambiguous presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or you want to debate me in the comments, please do so. And I will see you all in the next one.